Today on the channel from Mattel WWE Elite Series 101, we've got Sonya Deville. The Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another WWE Mattel Elite Series 101 unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we've got Sonya Deville. But for all your Sonya Deville needs, all your Mattel and Jazzwares wrestling figure needs, make sure you're hitting up Ringside Collectibles. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10%. Sonya Deville makes her return to the Elite line in Series 101. And her prior Elite, which we'll show later on in this video as we usually do, was a Target Collector's exclusive, if you guys remember back to Sonya Deville Mania at the time there. She's also had some basics, but this is her first modern in the last couple of years elite of course representing her time as a gm so we're getting this one could we get an adam pierce one of these days gosh she's on tv it seems like every single segment so let's get an adam pierce to go along or maybe an adam pierce basic even would be nice I'm guessing he isn't signed to like a, a deal like this for action figures though that is going to be my guess but it would be really cool maybe one of these days we'll see what happens but one thing that we know is going to happen in this review is we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So without further ado, let's take a look at old Sonya Deville, the female representative in Elite 101. Got a nice glamour shot there. Sonya Deville, WWE Elite, Elite 101. And there she is on the side there, looking only like a Sonya Deville could look if she was in Elite 101. She scares me a little bit. She seems like she might be mean to me in real life, that she would just be mean to me. I don't know. Maybe maybe that's just me. I don't know. But just that's kind of look vibe she gives me, that she might be kind of mean. But maybe she's just playing the character to a T. Who knows? Uh, on the side, Certified Authentic, True Effects, Elite, of course. Got her name there. And on the back, we got the blur, we got the tail of the tape, we got the glamour shot, we got the big cross sell. Make sure you subscribe to this very channel. We're unboxing all these on the channel at the end of the week. We're going to rank the entire wave from my least favorite to my favorite. Stay tuned for that. See what it says about old Sonia Deville from Shamong, New Jersey. Is that correct? You New Jerseyans out there, is it Shamong? Is that how it's pronounced? I have actually never heard of that, so I didn't, I'm not exactly up on the weather over there right now, but I'm sure it's beautiful. It's beautiful, probably. Height, five foot seven. Finisher, the good old square up kick. Though she's the SmackDown GM with the jacket on, Sonya Deville is ready to square up once the jacket comes off. And that was kind of her thing at the time as the, the GM. You know, she takes that jacket off and watch out, we're off to the races when she, that thing comes off. But let's get old Sonya out of the package here. Got that WWE background we've seen. See you later. Goodbye. Plastic prison, very small figure as you can imagine. Not a lot going on here. Got an extra set of hands, but you do get a soft goods jacket, which is always nice. Hardest working scissors in the game, getting pulled out from the bench. Coming in to help her get out of her hands. And we're there. We're ready to dive into the old Sonya Deville figure here. Get your hands out. And there it is. Goodbye. See you later. All right. Twist ties over there. Looking at the hands first, she's got two gripping hands. Where she's got her jacket on. Looks really nice in the box. And then you get two glove-fisted hands here for Sonya Deville. Of course, if she's going to uh, put her hair up and square up, she's got to have some fists, of course. But now we get down to old Sonya Deville here. A uh, very, very small female figure once again, but a very good head sculpt. Very good. Looks just like Sonya Deville. Uh, she's come a long way in the face department from her basic. They've really improved. As we always say on the channel, constant learning, constant improvements. That's what we got here with this Sonya Deville. Looking really, really nice. Good black material on the jacket here. Got a nice kind of rubber arm bracers around there. Uh, very interesting with those. I don't know if we've seen those before. Maybe we have. Uh, but a very, very nice jacket here. Hopefully it does not stain the figure. That is always a watch out as we do know. Uh, but very good. It looks like we have Velcro on it as well. I love how it's posed in the package. This is probably how I'm going to pose this on my shelf. Very, very good looking there. She's got the two gripping hands to do that. Always tough though once you break them out of this pose to get it back exactly how it was. But I'm going to try to get this jacket off of her. Maybe. Oh my gosh. Very tight jacket. And the hands were even tight on me. Fighting me. Fighting me throughout. Oh, come on. Come on, jacket. Don't be like this. Oh, got the hand out. There you go. All right, there it is. So this is a, a tough, a tough jacket. It is very tight, which really is the way it should be. It should be tight on the figure. 
Uh, but yeah, definitely takes some work to get off. It's the same material we've seen in the past. Looks really good. Got the Velcro on it. It does snap together. A good looking jacket for uh, old Sonya Deville. Let me put the hand back on so we get the full effect of the figure here. Oh, and there it is. There it is. Of course, Sonya Deville, a lot of people remember her time with the great Mandy Rose. Gone but not forgotten, Mandy Rose. I will forever miss her. We'll forever miss old Mandy. Uh, but like I said, good head sculpt here. Got the hair. I think we've seen this hair before. We'll have to compare. But you got the, the strand in the front, the two strands in the front, and the one strand in the back. Uh, nice black straight hair on her. Got the black... Uh, black lipstick blackish lipstick on her i guess we'll call it the black eyeshadow uh just kind of a dark look to old sony deville here a little bit of a dark look uh but very interesting that it looks like some of her tattoos may be missing and we'll investigate that a little further as well but she does have tattoos uh, she's got the ones on her arms and stuff the forearms we're very used to that with sonia got the tattoo on her back kind of the back shoulder there uh, all black get up here got some silver accents some silver buckles sculpted in throughout uh, a little bit of that silver breaking up the black monotony of the figure Walking through articulation, hands back and forth, side to side, hands removable, of course. Double jointed, pinless elbows, playing the hits here. Do got a bicep cut. Arms do go all the way around. Uh, I can't tell. It looks like I got a very, very hint of staining right inside here, right in the armpit a little bit with that jacket. So uh, beware, as it sits on there longer, it might stain more. It uh, depends. I guess we'll see how that ends up. But it looks like a little bit of staining on mine. So uh, buyer beware on that. You got a little hula hoop action. You got waist articulation. Get some Sonya Deville splits going on. Of course, you got the thigh cut. A nice gloss to the thighs here, too. Almost looks like kind of cell shading there, like cartoon shading. Uh, double jointed knees once again. Uh, you do get boot cut side to side, ankles up and down, back and forth, side to side. So it is Sonya Deville. I think it looks just like her, but I do think it's missing tattoos. We're going to find out, or at least missing tattoos from her prior edition. Who knows? Maybe she got her tattoos removed. I'm not exactly sure. Not an expert. Not an expert by any means. She does fit on a ringside collectible stand. Make sure you get the Mattel stand. Make sure you use code KYLE. Save yourself 10% but looking really good there. And of course, like I said, we have other Sonya Deville figures. Got a basic with an aftermarket uh, shirt on it to kind of sweeten up the basic a little bit. That was her first figure. Then we do got the collection one here from when she was a uh, Target exclusive. And we do have a bicep tattoo underneath here. So did she get that removed? She does not have that anymore because it is not on her new figure. So it is missing that tattoo. I don't know. I don't know exactly what's going on there. It does have the other tattoo there though. But she's definitely added some tattoos since this time frame. But yeah, we're missing that tattoo under the arm. And I would not assume she got that removed. But yeah, you never know. Stranger things have happened. But a good Sonya Deville figure. Is this going to set the world on fire? I don't think it will. We know how it goes at retail. You see my figure hunts every single Friday on the channel. We see some of these females being peg warmers. Not sure if Sonya Deville is going to resonate to the same degree of a Becky Lynch, a Charlotte, some of the heavy, heavy hitters. Uh, but it'll be interesting. It's been a while since she's had an elite figure. Maybe that will will help us a movement on the pegs but at the end of the day i'm glad that mattel takes a step out and says you know what we could give you another charlotte that we know would sell but we want to deepen out the roster we want to give everybody that they can and that is really cool because you know we always say it's about the money but sometimes it's not because if they really wanted the money they could have probably found a different female superstar that might sell a little bit better so that's mattel caring about the fans caring about the collections out there which is really cool, of course. But Sonya Deville, not bad, not great. Somewhere in the middle for me in Elite 101. We'll find out where I sit her at the rankings at the end of the week when we rank the entire wave. So make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you leave me a comment with your thoughts on this Sonya Deville figure. And then, of course, don't forget about the Patreon for early access to videos like this. Bonus content, exclusive content, Q&As, you name it. A lot going on over there at the old Patreon. It is truly the best way to support content like this. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com search Kyle Peterson and don't forget to hit me up and follow along on social media. Sir Paul 64 is where you're going to find me on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Sonia DeVille, I am Kyle. I'll see you guys all real soon.